The significance of the rings of power in J.R.R. Tolkien's The Lord of the Rings. In his epic saga, The Lord of the Rings, the rings of power hold a central place in the mythology and narrative. These rings were crafted by the elves of Eregion under the guidance and deceit of Sauron, the Dark Lord. Sauron, disguised as Anatar, the Lord of Gifts, taught the elven smiths the craft of ring making. The elves, led by Kelimbrimbor, created three rings for themselves Narya, Nenya, and Vilya, each imbued with significant power. Sauron, meanwhile, forged the One Ring in the fires of Mount Doom, designed to control all of the other rings and, by extension, their bearers. The One Ring's inscription, One Ring to Rule Them All, One Ring to Find Them, One Ring to Bring Them All, and In the Darkness Bind Them, encapsulates its purposes. It was a tool for domination, meant to subjugate all other beings to Sauron's will. The rings given to the dwarves and men served different but similar sinister purposes to stir the greed of dwarves and to corrupt men, turning them into the Nazgul, Sauron's most feared servants. The rings of power can be seen as analogies for various forms of power and influence in today's society. The One Ring, in particular, symbolizes absolute power and the corruption that often accompanies it. In modern contexts, we can liken the One Ring to the pursuit of political dominance, unchecked corporate control, or even the pervasive influence of technology companies. The insidious nature of the One Ring parallels how power, when concentrated in the hands of a few, can lead to the manipulation and control of the many. Consider the analogy of social media platforms and their algorithms. These platforms designed to connect people have the latent power to share opinions, to manipulate behavior, and influence elections. The architects of these platforms might have started with noble intentions, much like the elves who created the rings of power. However, as the power of these platforms grew, so did their potential for misuse. The addictive nature of social media, much like the seductive allure of the One Ring, demonstrates how tools meant to empower individuals can become instruments of control. Another pertinent analogy is the concentration of wealth and economic power. Large corporations and financial institutions wield significant influence over global economies, often prioritizing profit over ethical considerations. This mirrors the corrupting influence of the rings of power on the dwarves and men. The pursuit of wealth and power can lead to moral decay, as seen in corporate scandals, environmental degradation, and exploitation of workers. Tolkien's narrative warns of the dangers of unchecked power. The One Ring's ability to corrupt even the most well-intentioned individuals illustrates how absolute power can lead to moral compromise and ultimate downfall. The tragic transformations of characters like Gollum and Boromir highlight this theme. Gollum, once a simple creature named Smeagol, becomes consumed by his obsession with the Ring, losing his humanity and sense of self. Boromir, a noble warrior, falls prey to the ring's lure, willing to betray his companions to wield its power. In modern society, the pursuit of power often leads to ethical lapses and destructive behavior. Political leaders may start with altruistic goals, but can become entangled in corruption, losing sight of their original mission. Similarly, individuals in positions of influence, be it in business, media, or technology, may begin with a vision for positive change, but become corrupted by the very power they sought to wield. In The Lord of the Rings, the artifacts of power, specifically the rings, serve as tangible representations of the abstract concept of power. They hold immense potential for both good and evil, depending on the intent and character of their bearers. The elves' rings, while powerful, are used to preserve and protect. In contrast, the One Ring is used for domination and control. 
This dichotomy can be observed in the use of technology and scientific advancements today. Innovations such as artificial intelligence, genetic engineering, and surveillance technologies hold great promise for improving human life. However, they also pose significant ethical challenges and risks of misuse. The question of who controls these technologies and how they are used is critical. Just as the One Ring's power depended on the intentions of its bearer, modern technologies can either uplift society or lead to unprecedented levels of control and surveillance. Tolkien's work delves deep in the philosophy of power, exploring its nature, its allure, and consequences. One of the central messages is the importance of humility and the rejection of power for its own sake. Characters like Frodo and Samwise Gamgee embody this ideal. Frodo's journey to destroy the One Ring is marked by immense personal sacrifice and a refusal to be swayed by the Ring's temptations. Sam, too, demonstrates that true strength lies in loyalty, compassion, and the willingness to relinquish power. In contemporary terms, this philosophy underscores the value of servant leadership and ethical governance. Leaders who prioritize the well-being of their people over personal gain exemplify this principle. The concept of power with rather than power over is vital for building equitable and just societies. By empowering others and fostering collaboration, leaders can create environments where power is used constructively rather than destructively. Tolkien's Lord of the Rings offers timeless insights into the nature of power and its impact on individuals and society. The rings of power symbolize the potential for both creation and destruction, inherent in all forms of power. Their narrative serves as a cautionary tale about this corrupting influence of unchecked power and the moral responsibility that comes with wielding it. In our modern world, the lessons from Middle-earth resonate deeply. As we navigate the complexities of political, economic, and technological power, we must remain vigilant against the allure of absolute control. Embracing humility, ethical leadership, and the collective good can help us avoid the pitfalls that ensnared many in Tolkien's tale. Ultimately, the true measure of power lies not, as we would suppose, in its possession, but in its wise and just application. There are profound religious implications as well. The One Ring, in particular, represents the ultimate quest for dominion and control, mirroring the darker aspects of institutional religion throughout history. Just as Sauron sought to dominate Middle-earth through the One Ring, religious institutions have at times sought to exert control over the beliefs and behaviors of their followers. Many individuals who have felt betrayed by religion might see their experiences reflected in the narratives of the rings of power. These rings, created with the promise of wisdom and protection, ultimately become tools of corruption and control. Similarly, people often turn to religion for guidance, community, and a sense of purpose. When religious institutions or leaders fail to live up to their ideals or exploit their power, it can lead to profound disillusionment and a sense of betrayal. For those who have experienced such betrayal, the journey of Frodo Baggins can be particularly resonant. Frodo's quest to destroy the One Ring, despite the immense personal cost, symbolizes the struggle to break free from oppressive forces. His journey is marked by isolation, suffering, and the constant temptation to succumb to the Ring's power. This mirrors the experiences of individuals who, upon realizing the doctrines of their faith no longer provide solace or truth, they must navigate the challenging path of finding new meaning and direction. Losing one's anchor in religious communities and social gatherings, well, this can be disorienting and troubling. 
The sense of belonging, shared purpose, and communal support offered by religious institutions can be hard to replace. For many, religion provides a framework for understanding the world and their place within it. When this framework is shattered, it can leave individuals feeling adrift and powerless, and very confused. The rings of power, particularly the one ring, can be seen as an analogy for this sense of control that religious institutions sometimes seek to exert over their followers. The One Ring's promise of power and knowledge is ultimately a tool of subjugation, much like how some religious doctrines can be used to control and manipulate believers. The realization that these doctrines no longer work can be seen as liberating as it is destabilizing, much like Frodo's decision to destroy the One Ring rather than use it. The Church's attempts at controlling what others think and believe and do can indeed be likened to the Rings of Power. Throughout history, religious institutions have often sought to maintain their authority through dogma, ritual, and fear as well. This control can stifle individual thought and spiritual growth. It can stunt a man and woman's intellect, much as the One Ring seeks to dominate and corrupt its bearer. For those who have felt this control, the Rings of Power can serve as powerful metaphor for the liberation that comes with rejecting oppressive doctrines, just as the destruction of the One Ring brings an end to Sauron's reign of terror, breaking free from restrictive religious beliefs, well, this can lead to personal freedom and growth. However, this liberation often comes with the challenge of forging a new path and finding new sources of meaning and community. In The Lord of the Rings, characters like Frodo, Sam and Aragorn find strength not in the rings of power, but in their own virtues, courage, loyalty, a sense of justice. This shift from external sources of power to internal virtues can be a valuable lesson for those grappling with religious disillusionment. Rather than seeking power and validation from religious institutions, individuals can find strength in their own moral compass and the supportive relationships they build. Don't let a church tell you what you are. You decide what you are. This journey of finding new anchors can be seen in the growing interest in spirituality outside of organized religion. Practices such as mindfulness, meditation, and community service offer alternative paths to spiritual fulfillment and community. These practices emphasize personal growth and ethical living without the need for institutionalized control. The Rings of Power in Tolkien's Lord of the Rings offer a rich metaphor for the complexities of religious power and the struggles of those who feel betrayed by their faith. The journey from disillusionment to liberation mirrors the quest to destroy the One Ring, emphasizing the importance of rejecting oppressive forces and finding new sources of strength and meaning from within and through people, not institutions. For those navigating the loss of religious anchors, the story encourages a focus on personal virtues and the building of supportive communities. By embracing values such as courage, compassion, and justice, individuals can find a new sense of purpose and belonging. The ultimate lesson of the Rings of Power is that true strength and freedom come not from external sources of control placed up on you, but from within, through the choices we make and the relationships we cultivate.